Hi, I'm Keith Esserick, I'm with the Care Start Sound. I'm Trent Hummel, I'm a pediatric neuro-oncologist at Cincinnati Children's Hospital and a board member of the Care Start Now. I want to talk a little bit about steroids mm -hmm. um, and uh, their impact within the treatment path for DIPG. Yeah. Um, you know, f folks get very scared of it. They don't, you know, I, I don't think uh, fully grasp what the intentions of steroids are to do and, and really how it's going to be administered long term. Is that something you can talk a little bit about? Yeah, it's steroids are, steroids are uh, oftentimes a necessary evil because there is no doubt that steroid side effects are long and they don't, um, steroid side effects can be quite severe. At the same time, what we're using steroids for in DIPGs is to calm that inflammation and that swelling down that sometimes you see, sometimes after radiation, because radiation can sort of make that, make that DIPG angry and the surrounding tissue angry and you get swelling and so sometimes we have to use steroids to calm that down because that swelling can cause symptoms um, and can cause people to sort of, or patients to regress as when they're clinical symptoms, right? So their double vision can come back or their headaches can come back and so we use the steroids to sort of calm that down. So effectively what a steroid is, is doing or the use of this is really buying some time yes. between it to allow you to move to the next level next of le treatment. Yes. Uh, even though on a clinical side of it, obviously there's lots of things that, you know, the, the thinning of the skin, the mood changes, yes. the, the sleep. swelling, yeah. um, all that stuff that comes along with it. When they're administering it, is this, I mean, it's not fully a long-term process, is it? Is it, it <clears throat> do we find that most times it's kind of a really quickly in and then backing off? And, yeah. and what's the time frame normally with that? Most physicians will, will increase the steroids to get the clinical effect that's desired. So if you have signs or symptoms of swelling, they will increase those steroids and then try to quickly back off because of those side effects. Okay. And so it's, I think the mantra that we have as physicians, as neuro-oncologists, as pediatric neuro-oncologists is, yes, we will give steroids, but as soon as we raise that dose, we also try to bring it back down. And I've noticed that in talking with you know, a lot of oncologists about it, that they'll usually say, we hate steroids just as much yeah. as anybody else does, but it also buys that time. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That makes sense.